He is best known for playing troubled, downright, nice. unstable nice. characters. That's how you talk to a man in front of his friends? It turns out that Joey Pantoliano, or Joey Pants, as he's known to almost everyone, has been struggling as much off-screen as he has on-screen with his personal demons. When I'm going through an episode, I get extremely depressed because it's just like the simple basic things in life that can give you so much pleasure. And I was like, like pinching myself and saying, why can't I feel this? It was almost like my heart was paralyzed. She has been diagnosed. With Though he now recognizes he's been grappling with clinical depression for over a decade, it wasn't until the making of his latest film called Canvas, co-starring Oscar winner Marcia Gay Harden, that Joey came face to face with his own mental illness. When I was doing Canvas, Marcia's character started reminding me more and more of my mom, hitting herself and screaming for her tranquilizers, or, or twank, twankalizers is how she called them. How does that get us to present day? Well, my doctor seems to think that, that I have, there's a method to my madness that this whole, you know, Joey persona that I use to, when I get into a room to get that job, it's not just about the acting, it's about convincing these people that, that I'm uh, going to be a pretty decent guy to have around for the next 15 weeks, that's going to be a part of the solution, not the problem, and, uh, and the and then I would come home and, and crawl under the sheets. Oh, please, please she's, don't she's do this. Don't cut. And don't with this realization, with the veteran actor no, also came face to face with, with the stigma that still back shrouds back. mental illness. I was told not to talk about my diagnosis. And, and what was really freaky is now that, that I, I've been taking the meds, when I do a movie, I, I have to go and get my physical. And uh, when they ask me if I'm on any kind of medication, do I have heart disease in my family or cancer, I say that I take Lipitor and these two other antidepressants. And then two days later, I'll get a note or my lawyer will call me and say they're not going to cover you because they're afraid you might have a nervous breakdown. I said, well, I'm taking Lipitor. What if I have a heart attack? That's okay. So the brain does not have the same equal rights as the liver or the kidney or the gallbladder. Can you look out any further than the next day? In terms of my advocacy for mental illness, I really believe that I don't have the luxury to be anonymous. You cannot be anonymous with mental illness. You really have to talk loudly and say, hey, I've got it. I'm functioning. My life is better for it. Better because Joey Pantoliano finally understands what he's been wrestling with for so long. Oh, we got a good win now. We'll be right back.